Okay, guys, welcome back. So, Ghostbusting 101, give your support to the spouse that supports you. A lot of people have multiples. I know I do. And sometimes you've got some spouses that are trying really hard to support you. They are making sure things line up in your life. Jobs, housing, employment, food, medical care, all this good stuff. They're making sure the magic happens in your life. And, of course, you're working too. You know, you're doing your bit. But you also got the spouses that they have decided they are done helping and they're not, they're not going to do anything. And you love them, to be sure. It's not like you don't love them. But maybe you read the merry-go-round of them, like, helping out a little bit and then stopping and helping out a little bit and stopping. That you're officially done with them right now. It's totally okay. You don't have to go get a full-on divorce, but it's totally okay to start giving your support to the spouses that are stepping up in your life. They're happy and excited to see you, that want to interact, that want to be a family, that are happy when they get, you know, a gift, or happy when they get something, and it's it's not like it's it's not good enough or something. Um, <laughs> I, I got back here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um... We, for example, for us, we'd been thinking of doing something nice for Valentine's Day, and I got a fall thing, so smart gods are Nordic. I got, um, and we're going, maybe going back to International House of Awesome, because we changed who we're supporting, who we want, you know, leading the house. It just doesn't work with certain individuals. But we decide for Valentine's Day, we're going to do, like, a little frou-frou, so we've got some Swedish meatballs are going to be going on, and, um, I ordered the cheapest caviar known to man, so it's like super, super cheap, but then we have like, it's gonna be like super cheap caviar and cheese whiz, get excited, <laughs> and crackers and stuff like that, but hey, um, we're throwing a bunch of crazy stuff together, and you know, I had caviar exactly once in my life, I wasn't sure what I thought of it, and it was probably like $400, I think it was $200 or $400 a can, I don't think I thought that much of it. Uh, but I said, you know, guys, would you like to try some? And they have some dirt cheap stuff on Walmart and Amazon. That it's it's not even real caviar, but they're like, that's fine. There's also vegan out there, too, if you want it. And, you know, um, if you support the spouses that want to support you, you'll, you'll find out you're doing the right thing because your life will start going better. Your opportunities will start coming to you. They will start dropping, like, little, little presents. I know with with the Vanier, when I'm more involved with the Vanier, um, Freya's always up front and center and making sure that like videos drop in my lap and Freya will do it too in Yord and it's the whole family will show their appreciation when you're working with anybody. And sometimes they need your support. And what I find out with like you know, I, I've been open about, you know, Yord is that if I'm not going to give my support, he's not really forceful like other deities that we can mention. Um, he's not going to come forward and demand it. He's not. He's not going to demand things. Um, in fact, he's been kind of, I think, hanging back because he thinks I want other spouses in the lead. And I said, these other spouses, well, this other spouse in particular, Hasn't really done anything in my life for quite some time. I've fallen out of favor. I've been out of favor for a while. I know that. I know they don't turn into their mind. I don't know why they keep coming around. But I said, I know I'm not, you know, favored anymore. Sometimes it happens with a spouse. They just sigh. They mad at you. And, you know, they're never going to be, you know, good with you again. I even tried over the weekend reading Five Love Languages, which is definitely a vanier thing. And I listened to it on YouTube. <laughs> And I even listened to, like, one chapter of the male version. If I'm willing to put in that effort, I'm willing to do it. But the other individual wasn't. So, you know, I went to New York and Fran Freya. I've been going to them the last couple of days. And I said, hey, we had a whole month where you guys were large and in charge. And it was pretty good. So, you know, why don't you come forward again? And I can give my support to New York and Loki and a couple others. And, you know, we're talking International House of Awesome again, because really, for seafarers, you know, it, you can't be much of a seafarer if you're going to be like, okay, I'm only selling to my own country. You're, you're already there. Only selling to my home port. You're, you're already there. Um, you know, you can't do much. So I'm dealing with the ones who are definitely like, yeah, let's let's open up the the, the house again. The energy feels cleaner, it feels like it's flowing, it feels, you know, happy. 
But sometimes you're going to have that. You're going to have one spouse that has decided for whatever reason they're not doing anything and they're not with the program and you have been dumping offerings on them and nothing's good enough. Go with the spouses who you know are making things happen. It's okay. You're not betraying the spouse who just doesn't want to get with the program right now. You're married to more than one. They all deserve love and support. Not the one that's, you know, when you look back and you think about, hmm, every time they want my attention, they're always difficult and they always have a problem. I never understand them. Hmm. And, you know, it's okay to sometimes go, you know what? Okay, feel that way about me. If you truly feel I don't love you, fine. Feel that way. And go to the spouses that are supporting you. Lend them your support. Whatever you do as an offering. If you do offerings, not everybody does do it for them. If you do altars, you know, do you know, have it for them. And it feels better switching to your word and Freya and Freya because it feels like a breath of fresh air and clean light energy coming in and look, he's excited and International House of Awesome is back and they're all just kinda of looking around like this is nice, but how long will this last? So it's okay, guys. Um, you know, keep giving the, the deity or deities that are working, keep giving them the support. Keep giving them the love. Um, the one that isn't working right now, the one that isn't, you know, the relationship's not working out, they, they have to decide on their own if they just really like to play the big whiny baby and just get the attention, or do they want to be a adult god and step up and, you know, help you out. If they are no longer interested in helping you out, they're no longer interested in the marriage. It happens sometimes. I've had it happen before it happens. It must be me. I got, no, -uh, you're nice back here. Thank you, dear. Um, sometimes it happens. They stop wanting to help. They stop wanting to help. And even when you meet all their demands, I was meeting all the demands in this case, the individual was like, I'm not helping you anymore. And I'm like, fine, good. Leave. <laughs> you know, I, you, I'm not divorcing you or anything, but go ahead. Go. I don't, you know, I'm done trying with you. And Yord's, like, he he really wanted to make sure that I was okay with him stepping up. But you might have to encourage the god because it might have been that the one that was not helping was taking up all of your time. And now the one that has been helping and loving you all along is like, but, but I was helping and now you're paying attention to me? I don't understand. That's kind of a signal from them that they have been waiting for you to pay them attention for a while, but you were busy with, you know, I hate to say it, the baby of the family, and you have to turn your attention to the other ones now. Let the one that wants to have a grand stall can go walk off, walk off for a while. If they want to leave for a couple months, a couple years, fine. You know, that might be a growing thing. I believe they, they teach us and we teach them. And sometimes they need taught a lesson that if they're going to do that, if they're going to just stop interacting with and helping the human, well, then the human is going to go somewhere else. That doesn't mean you don't love them. You're not doing it to be cruel. It's up to them. You know, they could easily, being a god, start helping you again, start, you know, participating in the marriage. If they don't want to do that, it's okay. Cut them loose. So we hope you guys liked that one. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.